So there's nothing worse than dealing with a saddle sore in the middle of a bike tour. It's just gross, uncomfortable, and if you get one that's bad enough, it could actually end your ride. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three products and how we carry them when we're on bike tour that will hopefully help you avoid saddle sores and other issues down there. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration all about bike touring, bike packing, and bike fishing, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. So this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not a product review per se, but just some general tips that we've uh, learned along the way to kind of help prevent saddle sores and swamp crotch and all those other nasty things that can happen when you're on the bike for multiple days. So aside from generally trying to practice good hygiene at the end of each day, either wiping down or you know jumping in the river and bathing or taking a shower, there are a couple of products that we like to use that really helps prevent uh, saddle sores from forming or just general grossness. So the first product that we really like to use is uh, chamois butter. You know, generally, if you're just going on a long day ride, you can get away with it, but day after day after day, there's just gonna be that rubbing and that abrasion, that chafing, that'll eventually cause a hot spot and blistering. So I really like to use chamois butter. It's what I've used for, for years. And if you're new to cycling and you're wondering how to apply this, you can either take a big goop and put it on your uh, bike shorts if you wear padded bike shorts, or just apply it directly to your skin in those kind of high abrasion areas. Of course, one thing about chamois butter is that it comes in a giant tube or these single use packages, which are kind of difficult to carry on bike tour. So one of the tricks that we use to carry chamois butter is actually a couple products from a company called Human Gear. And they make these things called Go Tubs and Go Tubes. And they come in different sizes and they're great for carrying things like creams and lotions. So for the chamois butter specifically, I like to use the Go Tube. Uh, and generally I carry about two of these, one for sunscreen and one for chamois butter. Uh, of course, you definitely want to mark it so you can tell them apart. So the chamois butter really works well as kind of a preventative measure. Uh, although sometimes even when I can start to feel a uh, sore forming, I'll apply it on there when I go to bed at night and that kind of helps. Uh, the next level of kind of saddle sore uh, protection after say something has formed, it's getting uncomfortable. One of the products that we like to use is something called Bag Balm. It comes in a squarish green tin. This is a large size, there's a smaller size. And uh, I know it's kind of weird. It was originally developed for, uh, I think, cow udders, but it does work well on human skin. So let's say you've done your best, but you're still getting a, a saddle sore or some kind of blister. So usually after I've cleaned the area and are about to go to sleep, uh, you can take a dab of the bag bomb and a little goes a, a long way with the bag bomb and kind of just apply that to your skin. And usually what I found, if there's a blister forming or a saddle sore, and if I catch it early enough and put bag bomb on it, then generally overnight, uh, it'll kind of help reduce that swelling. And if the next day persists, I'll put more chamois cream in that area. You definitely don't want to ride uh, with bag bomb. It's not a, a lubricant so much as it is a salve. And as you can see, the tin of bag bomb is kind of large and cumbersome. So the way I like to carry it is with one of the smaller versions of the go tubs. So I'll just take a little scoop and put it in the go tub. Uh, you definitely do want to bag it in a Ziploc bag. If you're riding really warm temperatures, it'll kind of melt the bag bomb inside and it's prone to leakage. But just put the go tub in the Ziploc and you're good to go. So speaking of the GoTub, Human Gear actually has two sizes. There are the small dime size sized ones, and there is a larger one. So if you're going on the longer tour and need to carry uh, more chamois butter or more bag bomb, you can use that size. And as a side note, this isn't hygiene related, but we've actually used the larger go tubs uh, for food. We'll put like a big dollop of peanut butter there and it's usually good for one breakfast. And finally, the last product I wanna talk about, and it comes in particularly handy if you're touring in hot and humid places and you're just sweating and things are getting gross. Uh, this is for this is another off the bike item after you've showered and let's say you're gonna go uh, to bed. I actually like to carry a small dispenser of baby powder. So what this does is that it keeps things nice and dry. And if it works for babies, it should work for us, right? So with the baby powder, I generally just carry it in the dispenser that it comes with. So I'm curious, what do you guys use for things like saddle sores? Are there any products that you like that I haven't mentioned? Do any of you guys carry these things while you go on bike tour? 
I'd like to know, leave those in the comments below. And if you guys have specific questions, also leave those in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. And if you like this video and found it helpful, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.